to transform language, to make it more poetically compelling, and the way that's done is to appeal to the visual. The visual is what's happening. It's been happening for at least 200 years, since the invention of photography, and then color photography, and then moving pictures, and then moving pictures with sound. What we are clearly involved in here in the late 20th century is a technological simulacrum of the world. And we want, you know, more bandwidth, more pixels, higher resolution, greater refresher speed. This is why I'm so keen on virtual reality. Not because I want to, you know, have virtual sex with Marilyn Monroe or some knot-headed notion like that. But because I believe this is a technology that will allow us to show each other the inside of our own heads. We have never been able to do this. I mean, maybe a William Blake for a moment. Uh, but as an ordinary cultural enterprise, the most mysterious dimension is other people. You never get at it. You know, you can get at the flesh, you can get at the message that's being spoken or conveyed through dress and gesture, but uh, one's experience of oneself so incredibly multidimensional and rich, compare that to one's experience of other people and it's like a universe away.